Gamers Weekly got an exclusive preview of Torchlight, an upcoming dungeon crawling hack and slasher for the PC. Heading up the game is Max Schaefer, CEO of Runic Games and one of the original developers of Diablos 1 and 2. To explain more, here's the man himself. Torchlight is an action RPG. It's a single player game. We're going to start making the MMO version as soon as this one comes out. It comes out on October 27th. It'll be a digital download for 20 bucks, but it's a huge random level action RPG with tons of loot, tons of monsters, all kinds of fun. Torchlight is the name of the town. And this town is a boom town, it's a mining town. And it's built up around this giant ember mine. Now what you find is that there's monsters coming up through these ember mines suddenly. And you dig down a little and realize that you haven't just discovered this ember mine. It's been discovered many times in the past by previous civilizations. And there's something wrong with this ember. And the longer you're in it, the more you use it, the more it corrupts you. And eventually these civilizations collapse on themselves. So you realize, oh my God, this is gonna happen to us unless we get to the bottom of this corruption and cure it. We have a story campaign that's about 20 hours of gameplay. You'll be about level 30 by the time you're done. We have a melee character called a destroyer. We have a magic using character called the alchemist and we have a ranged fighter called the Vanquisher. Every player has a pet, and the pet accompanies them throughout the game. The pets really fight alongside you. You can teach them spells. They have an inventory that you can fill up with goods. You can even send them to town to sell it and get your gold and come back to you with it so you never have to end your uh, questing and adventuring to go sell your stuff. We're letting the mod community go crazy with it, and we're delivering our full suite of development tools with the game. Now obviously, you know, Diablo 3 is the elephant in the room, it's the giant action RPG coming down the pike. Our main difference with them, aside from having a $20 download instead of a, an expensive box, is that we're actually releasing this year. First of all, Diablo 3 has a very established and rigorous set of things it has to do to appease its fans, of which I count myself one of them, so they better get it right. We have a lot more freedom because there isn't the giant weight of expectations on us. So we're able to take it stylistically in a little different direction. You know, we're a little bit more lighthearted, a little bit more comedic, a little bit more cartoony. So we're sort of skating around them in a way. But, uh, you know, at the same time, we're all watching and waiting because we're fanboys still also. <laughs> We were actually together previously, this group, as part of Flagship Studios. And uh, you know Flagship Studios from the spectacular collapse after Hellgate London. Out of the steaming wreckage, uh, you know, there was this tight group that was working on a game called Mythos. And we were having a great time doing it. And when Flagship Studios closed, we knew we had to keep the, the group together and get going on something that was, again, similar in style to what we were doing with Mythos. You know, it was a little scary at first, but now looking back, it was a really good opportunity to get everything right from the get-go. So really, it's just bringing uh, all the experiences we've had for the last 12 to 15 years in making action RPGs and applying them all, you know, uh, to, to Torchlight. Addictive Dungeon Crawling is back, thanks to the team of experts at Runic Games. Visit torchlightgame.com to download your copy when it hits October 27th. Hey, check out a new Gamers Weekly every week at foxnews.com slash gamersweekly, iTunes, and hulu.com. We'll see you there.